Hello guys, uh, today I will show you uh, how to replace an iPad screen. As you can see, uh, this is the iPad. Uh, the, this iPad uh, doesn't work. This screen doesn't work on the left side. These parts, some of the points in here are not working. When you press, press it. Many times it's not working. Especially this, uh, this keypad this keypad it doesn't work so my kid uh, get mad she's, she's pressing it uh, so hard when she's playing uh, so we'll, I will be replacing this, this screen with this one this one is working but the problem of this one is it is it is uh, iCloud lock. I don't know how to fix the iCloud lock. Maybe you can tell me how if, if some of you can can do the iCloud lock fixing. So we will swap this. We will put this in here. And this one I will put back here. The tools that I uh, will be using is this. My pry tools, small small sets of screwdrivers, T6 and zero, Phillips number zero. This one, this one, and this, and this, and the cards. These cards are useful because uh, you need to hit this. You need to hit this by a uh, hit gun. We'll be using this hit gun. I bought this online uh, maybe three years ago. But you can use uh, a hair dryer. So I'll be using this uh, hot air, hot air. You need to pry this by hitting it and slowly pulling it out. So that's why we need this. We need this and this plastic thing, plastic pry, plastic pry bar, and this card. So you can insert it here and then pry it uh, bit by bit. It's fragile, so you need to be very, very careful when replacing or removing this. Yeah, I will show you later how how it works. Okay, I will start uh, hitting this side. First thing, you need to, to put a towel underneath. And then start hitting. Be sure uh, it is turned off.
curhat This is, remember this is still working but uh, I don't know if some pins are just loose this is not so hard because I already replaced this uh, last time but if it is uh, it is new and you will just replace it for the first time, it will be very sticky. This point it's hard. So I need to rehit this part. Don't put the the hot air directly in the home button. This work. Be careful on this side because uh, the the ribbon cable is on this side. Oh, side by side. Yeah. You see the ribbon cable is here. So. It's good now. Just need to just need to remove the screw in here. The screw in here. There are four screws. In here and in here. It is covered by sometimes it is covered when it, when it is new. It is covered by black uh, black what they call that tape it's like a adhesive black adhesive yeah you need to take the adhesive out remove that It's the bigger one. Like this. Then 
use a plastic plastic prying prying tool we'll just pry this we'll just pry this this connector okay see that yeah that's the screen So this is the the screen and this is the terminal of the screen. And then for the for this uh, digitizer, I need to remove this. This is sticking in here. Okay, just sticking in there. It's it's like that. This is the terminal underneath. And then sometimes just uh, held by a double-sided tape. You cannot remove it. Just uh, reheat again. Okay, so that's how you remove the digitizer and uh, the screen. So I will be removing I will be removing this one uh, the screen and the the digitization the screen and then I will transfer it here. Uh, this one the second one is a little bit harder because it has 16 very tiny screws. To remove the just to remove this plate 16 yeah like that my hand is shaking mm -hmm. very tiny screws the other one is just about I think eight or seven Okay, that screwdriver, very small luminous plier. Yeah, take it out. She's pain in the ass removing this. Yeah. That's why you need to pay a little bit higher when you go to the technician. And if you can do it yourself, that's better. Hey, I removed this plate. Okay. Then I will remove the, this one again. This is different, uh, different type of protection, different type of plates. But I believe these two ha uh, have different model, num different model number. 
but there let me see yeah look so there's, there's different plates yeah just a different plate different model number and it has the same terminal I will get the model number later it's in the back of your, your iPad okay it is the same terminal although different model number yeah so I will put this in the other one I'll put this here when you're doing a, a new new replacement because this is one is I already replaced it before you need to clean this part around to remove this uh, uh, double-sided double-sided tape around you need to clean it like this but now uh, I will be using this uh, this is a uh, adhesive this glue okay sure it's clean be sure it's clean just need to press it down okay that one is good sometimes it sometimes it takes just need to press it down just sometimes it takes uh, takes time Well, as it's all adhesive, I need to, to press it like that, and this one shaking hand. Mm -hmm. I already put it down. Let me see, let me see. And then it's here. Sometimes I put a uh, masking tape in here, so it will it will stick, it will hold in place. This one I need to move. Yes, if you heard that click, then it's good. Oh. Then you need to put so it's hard to to do it on camera. You need to put that. Okay, let's say we wait. I need to put this back. This is no good. Uh, the plate uh, that hold the, the the terminals of the screen and the, the digitizer uh, it's a different type uh, the model of the uh, iPad is A1432 and the other one is A1489 but you can swap uh, both uh, the, uh, the screen and the Digitizer, uh, they have the same terminal. Yeah. 
too tight this is not this screw is a little bit longer than this too so that's not good if, if you don't uh, figure it out okay and then connecting this To, you need to lay it like that not at an, at an angle so the ribbon won't uh, won't rip but be very careful about this I need to clean this finger ah this mark what I forgot I need to put the plate first I need to put this plate first and I will screw how many one two three four five six Seven. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I've just uh, finished uh, screwing this. Seven screws. Uh, this is very hard for me because uh, my hand is a little bit shaky. Uh, what happened is uh, the very small screws very small screws when you put it here just like this it fly away so it's hard to put it in the hole because there's a magnet in in here on the side so the magnet just uh, attract it and you cannot you can put it there so i have a stronger magnet in here so i put it here put the small screw in here and then this ma magnet is stronger than this so it doesn't move so I can put it there that's what happened in here then I need to screw this four sides I need to put this down put this screen down and screw screw it I, I tape it so it won't move so it doesn't move yeah so I will put this down and screw it in the four, four corners and then I will have time to clean clean this. Just clean it with a with a fine fine cloth. Fine cloth like this or the one that you're using with your with your glasses. Okay. Uh, in order to put this, uh, th there are three long screws. One in here, one in here, and the other is in here, in the opposite corner. Or two at the two in here at the the home button, close to home button, and one in here right side of the camera and this and the left side is a smaller or shorter screw so three long and one one short screw so you need to remember that because it's hard to figure out so I'll just uh, clean up this and put a little bit of this uh, this glue B7000 uh, it's, this is an adhesive, nice adhesive. This is a replacement for this uh, 
uh, double sided this is good adhesive but much is much easier to to remove than this this uh, black adhesive you need to put I will put around it here here and then I'll put it back and hit a bit and then put a uh, weight maybe the two books for maybe two hours two hours will be good two to four yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'll show you later uh, but if if you buy a digitizer online like this it has uh, its own adhesive this part you need to remove this part this is a uh, this is the adhesive, the black part. Uh, it has a plas plastic thin film in here. You need to remove it around, around here, around there. Yeah. And then that should be the last thing that you should do. And then put it down. It should be a uh, dust free <laughs> if you can. I already cleaned this there, as you can see there are no fingerprint in here as long as there are no clear clear sign of fingerprint it's good for me so and uh, one thing before you close this before you put the adhesive and close this you need to you need to test you need to test it first if it is working so I'm done with this uh, I already cl cleaned the screen and replace replace it and this one I already put it here this is from the other from the other tablet so what I'm gonna do is Because of the of the, the adhesive inside, uh, I will reheat this around and put a towel and then put uh, maybe two to three books for two hours or more. Much better. The longer the better. So this is powering on right now. I already tested it. Yeah, I already tested it, and it works better. It worked now. The the sides are working now. Before it's just hanging because uh, when you press something, uh, it doesn't it doesn't execute. So that's it. That's better. Look, it's better now. So all are good. I already downloaded the YouTube YouTube app, and I will just reheat this and then let it sit for two hours or more. Put a towel and then a book. So thank you, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, in order for you to f find the model number, it is in here. It's very small. You need to to use a uh, magnifying glass. But if you have a good eyes, maybe you can you can read that. This the model number of this is fourteen thirty two. Yeah, this is the one that is iCloud lock. So you can find the model number in here when you are ordering your screen and in the digitizer. Thanks.